welcome back to Quirky Q. Today I'm going to talk about how I curl my hair with a flat iron. Um, this is something a lot of people ask me about at work or when I'm out and about. So the flat iron that I use is the New Me Vintage Flat Iron. I just got this a couple of weeks ago and I'm really excited to talk to you guys about it. Um, this is what it looks like in the flesh. Um, it comes in different styles and different colors. I got the pink cheetah print because I just thought it was really cute. Um, so this is the vintage curling iron. It has a couple of cool features with it. Um, the first thing is that it um, states that it's going to heat up within six to 10 seconds, which it does. And it has this little light, um, which you can't really see very well up uh, on the camera, but it does turn green when it's ready. Um, don't freak out if it turns red on and off because it just constantly is reheating to serve your hair better. And then on the inside, there's a little dial where you can adjust the heat temperature um, the highest being 410 degrees and the lowest being 290 degrees um, and so it's just a really great product it does have a little swivel cord which I like too because then you don't get caught up on the cord um, it has full ceramic plates in it which helps with frizziness and making your hair really shiny and overall I just really like it it straightens your hair really nicely and really quickly and as as you can see it curls your hair as well. Um, this retails for $165 on numiproducts.com. I did not pay that much for this thing. I actually got it on sale through the website where if you bought the vintage flat iron, you got also a curling wand that goes along with it. I won't take this product out just for the sake of time, um, but you got this for about $75 for both of them. And then I got a coupon code from a YouTube vlogger and I put that in for $40 off. So I actually spend about $35 on both products, plus shipping and handling, so it ended up being $45, which is a huge steal. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how I curled my hair, so it looks like this. So the first thing I do when I'm about to curl my hair with a flat iron is that I put my Tresemme Thermal Creation Spray on my hair, especially on the bottom of it, so that it protects my hair from heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it all over. Just concentrate on the ends there. And then I'm going to go ahead and brush it all out. In the meantime, I did um, go ahead and preheat my new me vintage flat iron and so you can do the heat settings inside and so I put it all the way to the highest heat which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit and um, usually you just have to wait until this turns green and it turns green and red on and off because it's constantly reheating itself um, so I have that preheating while I am combing out my um, thermal stuff so I'm just going to comb it all out and we're good to go the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm dividing my hair in half. So I'm going to go ahead and go through with my thumbs and divide my hair all the way. And then I'm just going to twist it up and use one of these little clippies and just clip my hair up at the top there so it's out of the way. And then I'm just going to brush the bottom part of my hair and I'm going to split that in half as well. And that's how I'm going to start um, curling my hair. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take small sections of my hair like this. I'm going to take my flat iron. I'm going to start closest to my head as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and start twisting it all the way down. And then you'll get a curl just like that. And you're just going to do this process all the way through. I like to curl it so that it's kind of going away from my face. And so I'm going to grab another section. And you just do this with your hair all the way through. Now you're going to see some steam coming out of your um, hair when you're doing this. Your hair is not burning, it's not being set on fire, so you're okay. Um, it's just the product working, so if it's steaming, it's okay. Um, you're not um, burning your hair to shreds or anything like that. So you can kind of see it's starting to curl. I'm just going to grab these last two little sections. And off we go. 
I'm just going to show you how I do the other side of my head because I do it in a different direction on the other side just to give it some variety and so that it's still curling away from my face, okay? So that's the first section of curls. Now I'm gonna do the other side. And this way, how I do it on this end is I grab it and I go out this way instead. So I curl it so it's facing away. And again, it's just curling for me quite nicely. I love these Numi flat irons. I actually just got this a couple weeks ago because my other flat iron I had was a in it was a her styler, H E R S T Y L E R, and I got that like five years ago, and it was really really expensive, and it worked so lovely, like so nicely. I loved it so much, and then just recently. It started pooping out on me and I had heard about these new me products through a lot of other youtubers and I thought that now is the time to get some new products um, this new me flat iron is $165 it's very expensive but I actually got a code from another youtuber and I was able to get this and a curling wand for $75. So that was a pretty good deal. And these are really, really good flat iron products. So you're just going to do this the whole way, all the way through your hair. And before you know it, your hair will all be done. So again, curling it. All the way through. I don't really worry if it's like completely perfect because it's okay to have it um, do kind of its own thing because then it looks a little bit more natural and not so put together. Um, so I don't mind if it's not like every curl is perfect and that's okay. I just want to make sure every piece is curled. Just like that you see the cool thing about this too is that um, I don't put on a lot of hairspray on it and it actually holds the curl almost all day long um, I just I don't know why it does that I don't know if my hair particularly just holds curl really well but it stays and it does fall out a little bit towards the end of the day but it stays fairly curly for the majority of it so it's not too shabby I'm actually gonna use my mirror to see where I've missed some spots here. Okay. It's really important to curl your hair on second day hair or third day hair too. You don't want to do it when your hair is like freshly clean either because it won't hold the curl as well. Um, so it's nice to just have it when it's kind of dirty so that it stays a little bit better. Again, I'm not worrying too much about being perfect. I just want to make sure I get all the pieces. So now I have most of my hair done. I'm just going to do the last little part right here. Again, following the same direction that I've been doing throughout my whole hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and curl the last little pieces. Again, just doing the best you can. This is actually the only way I can curl my hair is through a flat iron. I cannot curl my hair with like a traditional curler. It takes me forever just to get one curl down. Um, so I was really happy when I was able to master this technique because now I can actually curl my hair. Um, I was always just not very good at hairstyles and now I feel like I can do really cool stuff because I'm able to do this. So 
So this last part here, you just want to make sure that you're not going like all the way to the root because this is kind of, especially if you part your hair on the side, um, then you want to make sure that it looks nice. So I don't really start curling it until about halfway through. Make sure it's curling away from your face. Last few pieces here, and we'll be done. And then what I like to do when I'm done is just like comb it through with my fingers. Just kind of poof it up a little. Okay. Um, I do a little bit of hairspray if I feel like I'm just not going to be able to touch it up. So um, I can just use my little Tresemme Superior Hold Tres 2 Spray Extra Hold. And so I just like to flip my hair back and spray it. Through. It looks really big now, but it'll calm down in a minute, so it'll be good. And that's pretty much it. So fairly simple technique. Um, just make sure it's curled away from the face, but this will last you almost the whole day, and it's awesome. It looks great. So here's a little bit of the back so you can kind of see. And that's it. And that concludes my video for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up if you like it, and um, leave some comments down below of some tricks of the trade. I haven't used the curling wand yet, so if you have any special tricks or methods of how to use that, that would be great. And I will see you next week. Bye.